Kathy Brazier from Smoking in the Square. Thanks for putting the BS in KCBN. <laughs> Well, I do, we do appreciate it very, very much. Thank but I called it right, didn't I? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you all. Appreciate it. Rick, do you want to say something before I take over? We'll take over? Sure. Repeat after me. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. To objectively and subjectively evaluate. To objectively and subjectively evaluate. Each barbecue meat. Meat. That is presented to my eyes, my nose, my hands, my, hands, my palate. I accept my duty. To be the sixth annual judge in smoking, smoking the square barbecue judge. For the truth. For the truth. Excellent. The barbecue. <laughs> In the American way of life. In the American way of life. May be strengthened and preserved forever. May be strengthened and preserved forever. Tenders here. Right here. <laughs> hey Ron, I'm ready to start the rain. You get your ass out of that trailer. Hey, um, who's the dude that bought the trailer and three smokers? What's his name? I forget already. Who? The blue trailer. And three smokers from Pennsylvania. Oh, uh, Jason. We're good. Jason, he just opened his uh, butts in their bag. Sam, Sam's up on, uh, yeah, it's up uh, 110. Go tell them about Sam, they'll have uh, probably the best field yet. Tell them about what he's doing. Don't bring a pot. <laughs> <laughs> pot in the grill. We need a pot to cook the food. Is Ray getting cold? See you in the garden. We got a pot. Get a pot. Peter? That chick with a oh, Cinderella character looks like three musketeers. Hey, Jason, it's Glenn. Um, Scott said um, the best ones you'll probably get around, there's Thank a you. Sam's you know, right down, not too far down. My, road. If you were in my shop, my guys would say, no, I don't. Um, <laughs> and I, I haven't found anybody that but has being it. But being that it's me. But um, I got it everybody here said Sam's, that it's not very far away. I don't do this often. This is like customer service. Right. And, you, and you got a ride, right? You said. Okay, okay, thanks. No problem, Mike. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How about you? Fine. I missed you last week. Oh, yeah. Were you there? No, no. Oh, oh, oh. This year I am. I just turned on the other. Oh, my God. Yeah, I asked him what's down there. I said, no. I said, who's going to fill my water tank? And he's like, you can borrow mine. Oh, listen, I was that conservative with our water. She's not wondering about borrowing a tank. She's wondering about who's going to fill it. My, yeah, I know, the sun. No, no, no. I know, but you said he made he money. Doing like, that. He like made little tips, you know, whatever, doing it. So I was like, well, I'll just give him the water. I was so conservative with our water that we didn't even need it. You know what? I think he said he filled everything up and did what he had to do. I stole. I think Myron probably used that more than you did. Yeah, he did, and I kept feeling his jokes. He thought he was going through it, and he kept going back. <laughs> he was next to me. So I let him like use my pump. pump. No, well, I loaned him my barrel, too. He took my hand no, truck. No, I knew he took your barrel. But he had these five gallon jugs from like a water company. Yeah. 
and I would, instead of using my barrel, I'd go empty his jugs into my tank. He's like, damn, I'm really going through the water. <laughs> yes, I am. I went and stole one. The buggy had five in it, and I come back, and Karen said, well, did you get one? I said, hell no. I said, that's how much you know I took it, because he ain't but one left. I said, hell, I didn't stole I the rest of them. Yeah, but they started out first place check and third place ribs. Yeah, first place check and fourth place ribs. I thought y'all had won. Well, when they didn't, I they mean, were hoping. Probably, I didn't yeah. know. I mean, well, you don't ever know. Don't, you well, know. Myron had a one seven and one. Right. I thought y'all had it. I don't know. <laughs> it. It is what it is. It's all right. And I, I did call. I will have to confess. I did call the KCBS office and say. You won't get a phone call if somebody decides to drop out. Yeah, I, mean, I know. They yeah. told me. They told me. Listen, when I called up there, when I called up there, I said, hey, can I speak to whoever who the Sam's Club thing? Just a minute. Just a minute. You ready? All right, the first one, really good flavor. Uh, I thought it was moist, it was tender. I was real impressed with it. The second one, a little bit dry, really good flavor. The third one had a little bit of a salty, smoky flavor, probably too much salt. I thought the fourth piece was absolutely excellent. Had an apple uh, sauce that just really set the chicken off real good. We'll just not talk about number five, because it wasn't good. You can. One, two, three, and four, I like very much. Uh, good spice on number three, I thought, not too much. Uh, again, I really enjoyed those four overall. Uh, the fifth one, I'll pass. Okay, on uh, overall, all of them had a good appearance. Um, I think the first and second were probably my favorite. Uh, the last two, uh, felt might have been overcooked slightly, especially the last one. I was definitely had too much smoke, too over smoked on it. All of them were very well presented. You could tell that the teams took time to place them carefully in the box, and they all invited you to taste them. The first one I found a little bit bland as far as taste, but the tenderness was spot on. And I thought number two was my favorite because it had a balanced taste. You could taste the smoke, the rub, the meat, and the sauce, and and the tenderness was perfect. Um, the third one I really enjoyed, except it was a little bit heavier on the rub. The rub, um, you could taste that more than you could the sauce or, or the meat itself. And on number four, I felt they were a little heavy on the sauce and it wasn't quite in balance with the, all the aspects. The um, number five had a balanced taste, but it, was, it had a very dry texture. So other than that, I thought it was a really good round of chicken. I like number one and number two the best. Um, they both had very good flavor. Uh, they were a little underdone, only only very slightly. Uh, number three and number four, I didn't like the flavor quite as much, and 
Uh, number five, I didn't like the flavor at all. Good luck today. Hi. Some nice looking chicken. Oh, you've got some winners in there. Good luck today. Top like that. Turn it, flip it around. Touch flip it around. Like that. Like that. Well, yeah. You want to touch it? Yeah. Huh? Which way, guys? That's put them in you, there that way. Like, am I gonna go side by side? Good. Oh, oh, like this? Is that what we want? Yeah. See if I have an opinion on this. So we're not. We're just gonna do them right, next to each other. 1224. Right, we got mm -hmm. 10 minutes. Gosh, we we do have a lot yeah, of parsley just, stick. Well, this that's why just, uh, just put them in. Okay, just put them in. Golly, they're going. They're going to kill us. Get them, get them a little closer. Yeah. You know how to do it? Get all six of them side by side. You think we should? Dude, what else do we have besides parsley? Yeah, we have it. I know. We didn't use parsley last year. We used to leave here. Uh, get two more in there, bro. You could get one there and one, maybe one that way. How are your fingers work? Other side. Are you comfortable Trying? with what they're doing here? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you, com are you comfortable with us? I want one more there, and then do maybe we can get one going that way. Get one in the front. Yeah, and I think this is our last one. Yeah. Right. Clean it up. Yeah, he's turned up a little bit. There you go. Okay, number one was pretty good, a um, little overcooked. Number two was real salty, kind of tough. Three was real tough. Um, four was 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 an all right rib, but my winner was number five. It, it hit all the numbers. Going backwards, I found five to be the best. Tender, tasty. I found two and three to be really tough, a little bit on the salty side. Found number four to be a bit spicy and a little bit tough, but I'll go with number five altogether. Thanks, number one was, uh, that was new fire didn't think it was done enough. Down, number two and number three were tough. In the meantime, our number four was excellent. 
and number five was best overall. Is up and going strong. You can walk your way down the line, leave a tip in the jar of the barbecue you like, and whoever ends up with the I thought the first the two, number one, number two, were a little dry. And number three was all right. Number four was overcooked. And number five was the best one of all. I thought all the entries uh, had a very nice mahogany glaze. The appearance score was very good on all five entries. Uh, the first one was uh, a little overcooked, but yet it had a very good space taste uh, not over spicy now the second one I thought had a very uh, strong taste and the sauce had something in it that made it uh, rather salty uh, the third entry had a nice glaze and was uh, a little little too spicy my favorite entries were the last two I thought they were both uh, had a very good smooth tasting sauce blended well with the meat they were very tender and so they were my two favorites Okay, here we are at uh, Pensacola uh, in the uh, pork category. Um, I think uh, all the entries were were good. Of course, that's here in Pensacola. It's always a good contest. So um, they were all pretty much uh, pretty much equal to me. Um, one or two of the the money muscles was maybe just a little little mushier than the other, and uh, one was maybe need to be cooked just a little more but uh, overall I say uh, that was good good five entries here thank you um, I kind of agree and even more I enjoyed all of them there were some that were just a little bit more on the softer side than the others but the flavors were delicious Overall, we have really good pork entries. Number one was a little on the tough side. Four was on the mushy side, but overall, very good pork. It's looking like we're pretty consistent here today. Uh, there were a couple of entries that were very mushy. They were overcooked, and we had uh, one that was a little bit tough, but uh, basically uh, most of them had uh, average to above average flavor. Most of them all were very consistent as the other judges stated. There were um, one or two that were actually kind of tough and a couple that were mushy. Number four had very good flavor but was very mushy and the uh, fourth entry overall had the best texture and taste for me. I believe that number number one was probably the best. It was and on our category for us. I think it was a, a little bit overcooked, but it tasted the best and it had just a little bit of pull to it. It had just a little bit of tug to it. So I think I think for me number one was probably the best one. The rest of them were. Um, you know, I hate to say it, but they really were not as good as what I usually see. So, pardon? Yeah, yeah. It's. Uh, I think that. I think that overall, I think almost everybody can agree that we've we've all had a lot better brisket than what this was. So. <laughs> 
Pardon? I, I can't hear you. Three was, uh, like I say, give a new name for burn ends. Overcooked, dried out. Four was probably the best. And good, good taste. Uh, number five was, uh, it was cut with the grain, so it was really tough. 